Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to perform the jumper test or the paper clip test on a PSU. So as you can see, the only cord that I have connected is the motherboard cord. That's the only cord that you are going to need for this test. First things first, make sure that your power switch is set to off and if you have an eco mode, make sure to set that to off as well. This is the EVGA detection tool. It came with my PSU. It's also referred to as just a PSU tester. Yeah, there's just two pins in there. Those are in the 16 and the 17 slots. 16 is the power on and 17 is a ground. So this test basically tricks the PSU into thinking that it's actually connected to something. So then we connect the wall outlet if it's not already connected. And then turn the power switch on and if the fan spins it's probably good and as you can see the fan is spinning so this test was a success so now I'll show you how to do basically the same thing but if you don't have the detection tool like I had you can do this exact same thing with a paper clip you just have to unfold it and then make sure that the two prongs are parallel and stick them in the 16 and 17 slots Please make sure that you are putting the paper clip in the right spots. There's a pretty low risk of getting shocked when the power supply is off, but it's never 0%. If you can't remember which pin is your power on and which one is a ground, just look it up in your manual. And there I turned the power on and as you can see the power works just fine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.